Let's go to UH and learn more about Kanani. I'm Kanani Danielson and I'm a junior outside hitter for the Rainbow Wahine volleyball team. And today I'd like to take you on what I do in my everyday life, starting with our campus center, where we have the food room and the game room. So let me take you to our food room. This is one of the areas in the food center. We have Taco Bell right here, and right next door we have Pizza Hut. Upstairs we have Yummy, Svaru, Aja Chicken, but my personal favorite is coming here at Taco Bell where I get me a Mexican pizza or a chalupa and I just chill with my friends out there in that little corner and we just enjoy ourselves. Let me take you to the game room now. Hi, this is our game center. As you can see we have the pool tables, we have the Mario Karts, the Xboxes, a nice place for you to chill with your friends, especially you know, as a college athlete, we came from practice, we have a lot of in-between classes to go through. This is a nice place for you to chill and hang out. Now let me take you to my music from Art of America class. Let's go. Here we are at the Music Auditorium. This is where I'm going to go to my class, Music of Modern America. And I really love this class because my teacher is very animated and he loves to get us involved with whatever that we're going to learn. He's playing songs after songs just to make sure that we know what we're going to do. Come with me, let's go. And both of these alive and well and thriving in music in modern America. Reason? They appeal to our artistic values and they appeal to our social values. Among those, of course, is diversity, variety. I hope you enjoyed a little piece of what I go through in my everyday life as a student athlete. As we go through practices and classes, chill with your friends, still get our homework done, college life is awesome. We can get through it, there's a lot of help, and you enjoy yourself. And thank you very much for supporting us on our volleyball team. We will head on later in our postseason and just keep watching us and supporting of what we got to do. We can do it. Go Bulls! Now, let's hear Kanani's advice to high school student athletes desiring to play their favorite sport in college. I'm a junior right now at the University of Hawaii. I plan to be a personal trainer or a, maybe a possible physical therapist. Right now I'm going to be in the major of interdisciplinary studies. It's something that I can design my own. It's one of the very few ones that a lot of people don't really know about, but that is what I plan to do and I would like to be done in four years. I have one more year left. My goals after college are to play overseas still continue on with volleyball. You know, I'm not sure where I'm going to be, whether it may be Europe or Asia or Puerto Rico. It's somewhere that will feel suitable for me. I'm going to try and play as long as I can, but you know, the reason why I'm here at college is to have a degree and to make sure that I'm ready for the real world. And the, I plan to be a personal trainer. You know, I want to stay in the sports realm and help out whoever I can. And if I can help myself out and have a very healthy body, then I know I can do that for others. And on the side note, I'd also like to possibly go into physical therapy. You know, um, help out everybody who's injured, you know, get them back on the field or on the court, whatever that may be. Especially with uh, a lot of people who's in the sports realm now in the professional world, NFL, NBA, you know, it just takes an injury for them to be, you know, their career is to be over. And, you know, you need that degree to get better and uh, to survive for your later purposes. My advice to you student athletes is to never give up whatever dreams that you have in store for you. Just because you know, you've know you done well in high school, don't think that college is gonna be a huge roadblock and you can't get through it. There's a lot of help there and you know everybody will help you. Your family, friends, we're there to support you. And I think it'll be just fine for you to see that it'll take you very, very far to get that college degree. And I think that as far as you know, whatever plans that you have, just make sure you have it well advanced and thoughtful once you get to college. You know, your freshman year, your sophomore year, just start planning of what you might consider doing. And then just make sure you have it planned out five years, 10 years ahead. Don't just think of 
you know, a semester's worth or a year's worth. Have it well thoughtful of and you can always change things along the way. But other than that, you know, it's, it's going to be a fun experience once you get into college and, you know, your parents have been there. If not, you be the first and you be a role model for everybody else.